Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Wayne at Grover's Corner here. It's been a small moment since I made a video, but record summer and I'm a pool guy. And I moved during the middle of the summer, which is not a good idea for a pool guy. So now we're, we're coming into winter time. I hope to make some videos. I moved also. Oh, I just said that, but uh, working on the fire pit. I miss my backyard, but I'll put up with this view. We'll see if the fire pit stays there, what we're going to do in the future. But today, what I'm doing tonight is I, just before we decided to move, and we moved to help out family, so it was a good cause and something we had to do, and I had to jump on it in the middle of the summer. But in any case, just before that, I'd been wanting to plant potatoes for about three years. And because of COVID and being stuck inside, I guess it just kind of happened, you know, had the time. And so the first or second week of June, I planted some potatoes in a container. So my first crop, and I'm going to pour them out today and see what I got. So hold on. So I do want to mention, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, my solo fire pit video with the Swedish torch really took off. I, I'm, my channel is eclectic. I do anything fun, outdoors, mostly it's fires. I totally appreciate you subscribing. Um, this is going to be, like I said, a potato video. I definitely have a lot more fire videos and ideas that I want to do in the solo fire pit, so I hope you'll join in. But um, I don't stick to just fires, anything fun and worthwhile. So let's see what happens. My first crop of russet potatoes. They weren't from a seed potato. They, it was my mother-in-law's potato that she apparently got. Had to be somewhere where they weren't sprayed with the inhibitor. So they had to be all natural. All right. Let's see what I got. So it's pretty sad looking. They, uh, I think they got blight. I really do. After the third time I hilled them up, they stopped growing. They didn't, you know, they're supposed to get like big and bushy and everything you've seen on the internet but I hope I get something all right when I started this I was hoping for maybe four five or six I'd like to plant a couple save a couple and eat a couple and if that doesn't work out looky looky I got my second crop going it's about two weeks old these are from russet seed potatoes though so Hopefully they'll work out even better. I gotta tell you, I am really excited. Here we go. All right, I flipped it over and it rolled back to standing up. Um, it smells moldy. You see no potatoes. It looks like I kept it too wet. So I'll publish this video just under possible failures. Well. Let's go see what happened. Bad sign. Oh. Oh my God. It's grody wet. And is that algae? Oh. Okay, so. That's okay if it's the seed potato. Oh, it smells bad. Okay, so even though we had a record hot summer, you know, in San Diego we had some insanely hot days, and m maybe I was watering a little too much. Then we moved here, and there's less sun. But I'm going to have to cut one open to see what happened. And just, it can't be good when they've got those nasty little white spots. I could cry.
here. I mean, even smells gross. It smells, you know, not quite like the bottom of a trash can. You know what? This is actually great because now I know I must have watered them too much. That's what I wanted to know. And that's what I needed to learn. So I'm going to cut my watering way down from the next crop. I got to put them where they're in the sun more. I am going to go get a knife, a 73 Forge Bushcraft knife, and slice one of these bad boys open. And definitely, hmm, I guess I get one to cut, one to plant, and one to eat if it's not rotten inside. Hold the phone. Okay, here we sit together. And I don't know. I mean, that's nasty. What does the white spots mean? You know, is that mold mildew? And I have done enough research. I mean, even if they're not edible, they very well may be plantable. So I'm going to cut one in half. Probably the biggest one. Might not be a good idea. But I want to know what's inside. A little overkill with the Bushcraft 73 Forge Cerakoted Rancher. All right, so if it's got blight, I believe it's going to be brown and empty inside. But you know what? I mean, it feels it feels like a good potato. Ooh, that sucker's tough like stiff like solid i like it let's go let's go down here Got that. oh whoa did you hear that crisp holy smokes i think these guys i think these guys are fine i'll do some research i'll make sure that you know those let me zoom out some. Make sure those funkified white spots aren't anything bad for me. So for the minute, the other four and this tater tot will be very interesting. Or if this could do anything. Or if this is just a waste of dirt. But, and I know there was another one, but I lost it. All right. Wow. Look at that. Could be very... Come on, could be very viable. Man, it's 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 so, it's not spongy at all. It's I mean, it's solid. I mean, that's hard as wood. All right, thanks for watching. Um, of course, soon I will finish the solo fire pit and the, the fire pit itself. Figure out where to put it and fire up some Fridays. I do, like I said, I miss my my nice green backyard that you all saw but you know what I'm going to put up with this view for a year or two while we're here taking care of family alright thanks for watching
Oh yeah. And if you happen to wait. Oh yeah, and you, if you happen to notice, I lost a couple pounds. It was on purpose though, so no worries. I'm trying to be healthy, live past 55.